Carnivals and fairs in the US get a bad rap. They're often seen as less interesting and lower quality than their European counterparts. But this stereotype isn't always the case. Some US showmen and companies own some spectacular rides. Some even own unique rides that can only be found this side of the Atlantic. Today, we'll be counting down the top 10 most interesting and best US-owned fairground rides. Kissel Entertainment's Big Kahuna The Gravitron is a common model of ride that can be found at almost any fairground around the US. However, the ancestor to this ride is considerably more rare. So rare, in fact, that there's only one remaining traveling model in existence in the US. The Chance Rotor Big Kahuna, owned by Kissel Entertainment, is an extremely rare ride today. The ride begins by having all riders line up against a wall. Once the ride starts spinning, the floor drops downwards, leaving riders looking at the drop below them. The ride recently underwent a re-theme, originally being called Voodoo Experience. In 2022, the ride reappeared on the fairgrounds under the name Big Kahuna. The refurbishment included a full repaint and re-theme of the ride, while preserving its classic observation deck above the main drum of the ride. The ride's lowering floor has been a constant issue, and as of 2022, it was not working. But knowing Kissel, this will likely be fixed before too long. If you're lucky enough to find yourself near a Kissel Midway, be sure to check out this ride. RCS Shows KMG Tango The KMG Tango is a fairly common ride found across the world. Even in the US, several showmen own the model. But Ray Kamek Shows, or RCS's Tango, is better than most found in the United States. It has a long cycle combined with a beautiful backdrop, strobe lights, and a good sound system. The RCS Tango looks like it could have came directly off a European midway. This is actually somewhat of a trend for RCS shows as another one of their rides also makes this list. If you find any KMG Tango in the US, it's probably worth a ride as these rides are very intense and enjoyable. But if you happen to spot the RCS owned ride, it's a ride you absolutely cannot miss. Helm & Sons Hus Flipper The Hus Flipper is a staple of the European fairground. This intense ride is known for its powerful lateral g-forces and strong whip from side to side. That being said, the ride was never as big of a hit in the US, with most of the flippers that did find their way to the US looking dilapidated and cheap compared to their European counterparts. The Helm & Sons flipper breaks this trend. This ride is beautiful, with a fantastic lighting package and great backdrop, even after over 20 years of operation. It also has a powerful sound system and runs at full speed. This ride has been owned by SJ Entertainment for most of its time in the US. However, in August 2022, the owner of SJ Entertainment retired and sold the company's rides. Hopefully, the ride remains in its immaculate shape under the ownership of Helm & Sons. Primetime Carnival KMG Experience The KMG Experience is a rare ride anywhere. The ride features a very intense ride cycle, with riders being flung in all directions. The ride can almost be seen as a more advanced version of the classic Orbiter ride. Joshua Macaroni's version of the ride features a nice backdrop and a good sound system, making it one of the nicer US fairground rides in general, though the intense ride cycle offered is more than enough to make the ride worthy of being on this list. Fantastic Show's Zero Hexentance Most people tend to forget about the Zero Hexentance in the grand scope of the industry when compared to other more popular rides. Debuting in the 1980s, the ride never really caught on as a super popular ride and only seven were sold. That being said, only two are operating today. The only one that can be found in all of North America is owned by Fantastic Shows. The ride, named Inferno, features 12 arms that are connected to twin rider vehicles rotating around a point. All of these arms are lifted up into the air by a central tower. As the ride moves, the rider vehicles are treated to near misses with the other units. This ride does sometimes travel with Fantastic Shows, qualifying it for this list, but it can almost always be found at the Washington State Fair. RCS Shows Technical Park Pegasus 16 The Technical Park Pegasus is quite a common ride in Europe, but only two models exist in the US. RCS Shows once again does not disappoint. Their ride, named OMG, features its original backdrop and a great sound system. The ride also features a long ride cycle, which allows you to fully enjoy the ride's unique design. It's easily one of the most intense rides that you can find at any fair. The seats are able to rotate freely from the main support of the ride, leading to a very disorienting experience that's different every time. This combined with the loud music and strobe lights makes this one of the best fairground rides in the US. Bishop Amusement's Fabry Evolution The Evolution is an exceedingly rare and thrilling amusement ride. The models made by Fabry are the only ones still traveling today. However, due to their large size and old age, very few remain traveling. 
Bishop Amusements helps maintain the legacy of the evolution by continuing to travel with this ride and keeping many of its show pieces, like its lights and sound system, in great shape. The ride has even begun traveling alongside RCS's rides, making sure many more riders get to experience the intensity of the evolution. Bell City Amusements Moonraker The Moonraker by SDC is another exceptionally rare ride, with only a few still in existence worldwide. The ride is like a more intense version of the classic Enterprise, combined with a Tagata. Unlike the Enterprise, when the ride reaches its max height, the main support arm of the ride rotates 360 degrees, showing off the riders to the spectators below. The seats face inwards, making the ride feel even more intense. Bell City Amusements has done a fantastic job keeping this ride in good shape. From the lights to the theming around the ride, this fun classic is something you just cannot miss. Wood Entertainment Company's Mondial Shake The Mondial Shake is known for being the less popular version of Huss's classic breakdance, but the only operating Mondial Shake in the US is sure to make you rethink what ride you prefer. Wood Entertainment Company's Magnum is a European showpiece brought to the US. It's got a fantastic set of lights and a backdrop, along with a great sound system. The ride truly looks like it came directly off a European midway. The ride itself is very intense, rocking, rolling, and spinning its way around the layout of the ride. With so many axes of movement, you're sure to get disoriented. If you're ever lucky enough to find this ride at your local fair, be sure to give it a ride. Larson's High Roller slash Crazy Train The final ride on this list is also the only American-made ride on this list. Very few Larson High Rollers have ever been produced, but if you ever see one, you absolutely have to go for a ride. Some owners of this ride have done a better job keeping and adding new show aspects to these rides, but any high roller is a must ride experience. The ride is much like Larson's more popular Super Loop rides, except the loop is in the shape of an oval and the entire oval rotates along with the ride vehicles themselves. This leads to an extremely disorienting experience. This is one of America's only attempts at a true quality fairground ride like what is often found in Europe making it worthy of the number one spot on this list. Somewhere between two and six of these rides remain operating, with one of the nicest examples being owned by Butler Amusements. If your local fair hosts a high roller, be sure to catch a ride while you still can. While most people feel that the only good fairs can be found outside the US, some of the rides on this list may provide just as good of an experience as you can find elsewhere in the world. The next time you get the chance to experience a US fair or carnival, it might be worth it to see what type of rides may be there. You could always stumble upon one of these rare, unique, or exciting rides that can only be found at some of the nicest fairs overseas. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.